And we are live. And we're live. <laughs> it's May 7th at, um, what time is it, Duncan? 10.29 p.m. 10.29 p.m. And it's, um, it's birthday. Art. Go ahead. It's Arta's <laughs> birthday Eve. Eve. I've birthday. been thinking about this all day. So all day it's been my birthday Eve. I've been off to the pain clinic. Yeah. I've had a shower, a massage. I'm doing everything that can get me ready for my birthday. <laughs> so birthday to, day. <laughs> to, to the birthday day, um, Duncan and I went out to get, of course, a present for birthday Eve, because everyone would need a present for birthday Eve. So we're just going to open the present with you live, and I'll let... Duncan introduced the present game that we're playing. And after words, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll come back on to wrap up the unbirth, not the unbirthday, the <laughs> birthday, birthday Eve celebration. Eve celebration, <laughs> go. All right, so here we are. I don't know why we're getting real game show vibes from this, so I'm just gonna run with it and say that that's what we're doing with this. So, me and Catherine earlier today waltzed our way down to the local 7-Eleven, which they don't have in Quebec. I don't know why, probably something to do with 7-Eleven not being easily translated into French, which confuses me, but apparently that's the case. So, the game, well, the name of the game is which of these items is a gift intended for grandma that was well thought out by us? and which is random things that we bought for other members of Catherine's family and ourselves. That is the name of the game. So if you want to follow along as we go, I'm gonna be showing all the items. If you wanna pause and guess for yourself which of these is grandma's gift and which of them is absolutely not and never would be under any situation, you may. But we're going to start off. The first of many food items. Are you going to show them the birthday gift wrapping? Oh, I suppose I should, shouldn't I? The delightful paper bag for which us in BC like to use instead of plastic because, because we do. We, <laughs> with the amazing 7-Eleven logo. Get it delivered, 7-Eleven. Because now no one can actually go out and get these things for themselves, except for us, because we did. So, the first of many items known to many of the older fellows, bottle caps. Not now. <laughs> bottle caps. I have no. I have all of you at home. Bottle caps. I definitely knew these existed before today. Apparently, to some, <laughs> many people like these. Apparently. They are a candy that has five different flavors, none of which I have tried nor intend to. <laughs> so that is option one for bottle caps. Is this grandmother's gift, despite the fact of her literal gag reflex upon seeing them? Maybe, it's anyone's game. Item number two, uh, much more inclined to something she may enjoy, Tic Tacs of the orange variety. So let, let, Artie, you hold them and then you can wait a second, weigh in on if that's something that's going to be for you. Is this something that grandma would enjoy? Thoughts? Without revealing what your I ideas may are. enjoy one or two, but I have a whole case of another flavor which I purchased from Costco. Still, I'll put this on, maybe. It's on the maybe. Still in one's game. So, we've got the Tic Tacs and bottle caps. Now we come to the third food item of interest for today. Yeah. Airheads of the cherry variety. <laughs> this would definitely be for the Jarvis family. Airheads. It's anyone's game. It could be, it might not be. We don't know. <laughs> Even though we organized this game, I only learned about this entire game five minutes hence. So really I don't know, but it could be. I definitely know. <laughs> That was fast. That was fast, and unfortunately, when you read the name <laughs> Airheads and then you said the Jarvis family, I didn't like that. <laughs> Very true. You picked them. <laughs> That's true. Option number four: Altoids. <laughs> I have no idea what these are, but they were picked up by Catherine Altoids. today. Curiously strong mints. 
curiously strong. I'm going to put this in a definitely, yes, I'll take this. This will cut my cough. It will cut a cough. But Prevent I've pain. never had these before. Never. In line with mint, we move over to option number five. Mentos, tiny mints, in a very bright green package. Wow. Well, maybe all these gifts are for me. They might be, or maybe none of them. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, put this on the maybe side. <laughs> and in line with Mentos, the same thing except lemon. Lemon Mentos. I'm getting a little tired of candy. It's like everybody always saying when they, when anybody sees me, the first thing they say to me is, "Maybe you should go to bed now." So now the second thing, when people see me, they're going to be saying, maybe you should take a mint. That's because I have a cough, which I shall demo for you, but I shall wait a little while in the game. All right. We've got through the majority of the mints and right. other such projects. All right. Option number six, a large pile of Macintosh <laughs> caramels and oh, wow. this. A classic Canadian candy that you cannot find elsewhere in the world. This is sought after by many people, I presume, who come to Canada in interest of finding one of these amazing delights. These are definitely for Steve because these send people straight to the dentist to have a braces readjustment. Or a crown put back on. Or a crown. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely for. Steve's family, not me. It's, it's a potential. Could be. No, I'm not doing that to my teeth. Those, <laughs> teeth are just coming right on. These would pull out the teeth of people who are 80 and over who've never had that tooth extracted. <laughs> Weirdly enough, that is also their prime uh, market. Next. Before we do the next one, oh. just saying tonight, Arda, you did ask for us to just remove all your teeth and clean them without you having to do it. <laughs> I did. So you never know what the intention of these Macintosh hobbies were. I did ask for that. <laughs> Option number seven. A mamba bar of sorts. I believe wow. it could be fruit. I am unsure. Wow. wow. I presume potentially some kind of Starburst-like Feeling? Maybe? Yeah, Mamba. Definitely Mamba. Rebecca. It's amazing at uh, Catherine's ability to pick items from a store that I have been to so consistently that I have never seen. Okay. And last, but certainly not least. Last. 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 Well, it's only the it's birthday not. Eve. <laughs> it's it's birthday not Eve. the birthday. You can't, this is you the can't birthday open Eve. the main presents on birthday Eve. Okay. A bar of pure, un- Filtered milk chocolate from dairy milk. No nuts, no mm. caramel, no pop rocks, no fruit, no nothing. It is just what it says, which is milk chocolate. A bland choice, but a good choice. The first choice was actually going to be what? It was going to be fruit nut, but then we realized. Oh, that's my favorite. But then we realized. But it sends you off. I have to brush my teeth. So it's well, like, you know, I'm life not, taste. I'm not sure it was the teeth brushing. We were worried about the nuts. I think it was <laughs> the gastro jejunostomy too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gastro jejunostomy is a new word in everybody's vocabulary if they live here. Okay, I used something like this as a wake-me-up at the pain clinic today. So... <laughs> The trouble with it is, is it wakes you up for about 30 seconds and then the sweet warmth of the chocolate kind of kicks in and you become mellow and you want to go to sleep. So I'm going to give this a def definitely for grandmother. <laughs> and there it is. All the choices are in. So for those of you who are following along, maybe. <laughs> He's going to show the whole tray. The like options in front of us for which of these items 
is intended for grandma and which are intended for someone else, I suppose. <laughs> I want to give an A plus, so this is for me. All the rest are for everyone else. Well, Captain, did you get it right? <laughs> well, I'll come over and tell you that because I think you can't hear so well. So you win big with the chocolate bar that was indeed purchased with you in mind. Yet there were additional things on this tray that were purchased with Arda in mind and she can pick those out if she knows about an earlier discussion we had today when she's been coughing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> any of these mints but I'm not I'm I am familiar with the orange ones tic tacs and I don't like them oh God, darn. I've never tried the altoids so I will try uh, and look at they come wrapped in this plastic so I know they haven't been opened so that's very nice and you have a box afterwards that would be awesome oh, for putting jewelry in. yes I'm, t so I'm going with this this is actually not mints for a cough it's just a way to get a new jewelry <laughs> box for earrings an amazing two-in-one gift if you just have this in your purse and you happen to find that your earrings are getting really heavy for the day you can just take them off put them there you Indeed. don't use them you don't oh which reminds me i have lost one of my earrings it looks like this so if anybody's seen the earring, the earring, you've got an immediate birthday gift. Call 0800-999, this is not a game show. <laughs> Indeed, all of the mints are to, offered to show you the top. And here she is. All of the mints were to give you a variety of options and one for each purse so that you will have a mint <laughs> in every at course. every moment you might need one. I should be great for you. One in the walker, one in the Happy, bag, one exactly. in the pocket. No Happy matter who you are. Happy birthday, Eve. Happy birthday, Eve. I now, mean. now we'll put the gift show away and we're going to ask one final question to this episode of birthday, Eve. Birthday, Eve. So the question on my mind as of a few minutes ago, where does this rank in terms of uh, birthday gifts? Or like, what other birthday eve have you celebrated similarly in this way or in some other fashion? Or I don't. <laughs> this is the first time I have celebrated a birthday eve. <laughs> I've been having fun all day thinking about, wow, I miss 80 birthday eves, but I'm not missing this one. So now I've got one more hour left. Thank you, Duncan. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you all who watched. And I have, and I have, I get a, I oh, get a question also. Take so, the floor. No, my, oh, he'll squeeze behind. Okay. So my question is, okay. My question is, would you tell me about a memorable birthday that you had and why it was memorable? And it could be any birthday. One, two, three, all the way up to 80. <laughs> and then tomorrow we'll talk about 81. All right. Just a memorable birthday. And what was probably the most memorable <coughs> birthday I've ever had was one where Kelvin said he would take me out to dinner. So we got ready to go for dinner and we drove to the other side of town, which would be down along, down along the McLeod Trail Strip. And he drove with such purpose, I thought, this is weird. He's already picked out the restaurant, and I'm absolutely sure I'm not going to like it. Anyway, he flipped off of that street and said, I just got to pick up something for Moya. So he, I thought that was a very unusual way to start a birthday for me. But when we got there, he said, come on in. And I said, no. He said, oh, it's just going to take a second. So I went in, and there... She prepared a big turkey dinner, and all of my relatives who lived in Calgary were there waiting for me for a birthday dinner. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never had such a complete surprise or such a wonderful birthday dinner as that one prepared by Moya. Wow. It was a complete surprise. I was totally ready for it. I knew I was going out for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, it was really great conversation because instead of Calvin and me being trapped with each other 
wondering what to say. After all, we'd already, if you've, if you've known each other for 30 years, you pretty well have said just about everything you uh, might want to say in a half an hour. But now I had all this new conversation with all these people. Yeah, that was the grandest birthday dinner I ever had. Nice. The, oopsie. The end. The end. The end. <laughs>